Welcome back. This is KTN Prime. Now, Energy and Petroleum Cabinet Secretary Charles Keter is tonight reassuring Kenyans that consumers will not pay more in their power bills. This is despite a mounting 8.1 billion shilling cost in card on diesel generators last year. Keter has refuted claim that Kenya Power was backdating bills to recover outstanding costs. KTN's Tandiwa Yego has the latest on this developing story. After weeks of anxiety and speculation, Energy Cabinet Secretary Charles Keter came out attempting to put the record straight on why Kenyans need not to be worried about high power bills at a time when the cost of living is once again on the high. PLC or RFC or the ministry has no mandate whatsoever to do any tariff increment. The process is um, the uptake, which is the KPLC or any other, be it uh, pipeline, be it any other company, will apply to ERC, stating why they need the tariff incre increment. Uh, ERC then will have it uh, in the media, uh, in the print media. They will have it uh, gazetted for the public to give views uh, whether they are okay or not. According to Kenya Power's books of accounts, the power utility company incurred costs to the tune of 8.1 billion shillings on diesel generators following depressed rains, which saw Kenya turn to thermal power as hydropower fell victim to the vagaries of weather. Qatar attributes the fluctuation of bills, which can be traced back to recent months, to an upgrade in billing systems. The new system, according to Keter, will allow consumers to self-read their meters and upload the data, which will in turn be transmitted to Kenya Power, hence improve billing accuracy. Customers we have at the moment are 6.4 million. Out of that, 2.4 are on analog meters. There are other customers which are on uh, prepaid, uh, which we have essentially been connecting, which is about 3.9 million. The other industrial and commercial customers, those are about 6,000. Those are on smart meters. You don't need anybody to go to the site to read the meters. Although Qatar's explanation has further raised more questions than answers, GEM Member of Parliament Elisha Odhiambo says Kenya Power is not being transparent on this matter of billing. The Kenyans are going through a difficult uh, time, having to sort out the children going to school. You know the public debt is at 4.8 trillion. The economy is doing poorly. And in such a time you can't allow a utility company like Kenya Power that enjoys monopoly to add more charges. Qatar states that efforts to reduce electricity prices are being undertaken with the introduction of time-use tariffs, effective from December the 1st. This will entail the reduction of tariffs by 50% during off-peak hours. Odhiambo, who is also a member of the Energy Committee, notes that the cost of power skyrocketed from 2.35 shillings per kilowatt hour to 4.35 shillings, terming this suspect. Elisha now says they will be summoning Kenya Power Managing Director Dr. Ken Tarus to present himself and justify the price surge. The questions that come to my mind, did KPLC falsify the books? Did KPLC fail to declare the true position of their books? And with that question, what I beg to ask, did the MD for Kenya Power conceal information for customers and shareholders? And if that, it stands to be indicted. As Kenyans usher in the new year, many are hopeful that the Kenyatta administration will ensure the cost of living continues to be contained to shield many from slipping into oblivion. While Kenyans continue to pay for electricity through the nose, energy providers remain mum on the situation while stakeholders continue to bicker. Tendiwe Yego reporting for KTN News.